Christina Lingham, Executive Director of Conferences and Team Lead of the Next Generation DX Summit. It's a very exciting time to be in the diagnostic industry with liquid biopsies making their way into the clinic and immunotherapy biomarkers ushering in an era of highly effective cancer treatments. NGS is being used for accurate and rapid infectious disease diagnosis and mobile technology is putting health data directly into physicians' hands. Technology advancements are expanding access, reducing costs, and streamlining healthcare systems. Thanks to these diagnostic innovations, the coming era of healthcare will boast therapies that work with impressive precision and result in unprecedented success rates. Hear what the community is talking about at CHI's Next Generation DX Summit for a snapshot of important developments in the field. It's the opportunity each year for diagnostic developers, researchers, clinicians, pathologists, clinical labs and regulatory bodies to collaborate, share ideas, and work toward the same mission of bringing next generation diagnostics to the clinic. It's an honor to be part of the team that makes this progress possible. I'm Tom Kasky. I'm a professor of molecular genetics and internal medicine at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas. My areas of interest are in the area of applying molecular genetics toward the objective of prevention of adult onset diseases. And toward that goal, uh, we've established a research program which is sponsored by the Houston Endowment Fund, which works with the Young Presidents Organization. So we've done whole exon sequencing on them, we've done metabolomics on them, and we've correlated that information to identify disease and to identify areas where we can intervene on disease. UniConnect is a software developer who specializes in laboratory process management. Our focus happens to be in molecular science. So for over a decade, we've been evolving software systems for molecular diagnostics. A year ago, we rolled out the new precision molecular diagnostic system we called PMDX. I'm Karen Weck. I direct molecular genetics at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill, and we are really excited to be able to apply next generation sequencing technologies in a variety of different diagnostic endeavors. So both in the area of cancer, where we're able to apply this technology to look for actionable variants that can help tell the oncology doctors whether their patients may respond to particular drugs or be resistant to particular drugs. And then we're also involved in a really large project to look for diagnosis of different genetic diseases, which is funded by the NHGRI. Um, and our goal is to sequence 750 individuals with different genetic conditions to look for the diagnostic result. And so this is a very large ongoing project, but we've had a lot of exciting results. Well, we at Biological Dynamics are actually working on a treatment response monitor in oncology and we're in the process of getting through uh, or starting our FDA clinical trials to hopefully get our clearance soon. I'm a senior PhD student at ASU working in Biodesign Institute with Dr. N.J. Tao. When we walk into a doctor's clinic, the doctor, while prescribing us antibiotics for bacterial infections, does not know which antibiotics are going to work. At best, he takes an intelligent guess. The closest diagnostic tools available right now perform the same test take about three days. My research involves doing the same test in real time at point of care facilities in the near future. I'm Roger Klein, a medical director of molecular oncology at Cleveland Clinic. We're working with our oncologists to bring the, the most advanced testing to bear on their diseases. We're looking at the latest means of identifying therapeutics uh, based on uh, genomic mutations. Each week, we have a genomic tumor board at which we meet and analyze tests that have looked for mutations in patients' cancers that can be used to guide therapy. We provide the latest in recommended therapies and offer our patients access to the most advanced clinical trials. We're at one of the most exciting times in medicine and oncology therapy and, and, and treatment in particular. We can all foresee a day when advanced diagnostic testing will characterize tumors and allow us to, to direct bullets that kill the disease while having minimal side effects for our patients.